and we back. Today we're letting a random number generator create an NBA player. Now we've done this before in the past, right? Uh, we created low key one of the greatest players you can create. I just tried to film this exact video an hour ago and the player we created was a 67 overall player. I refuse to do that again. And the reason it was that is because I had my minimum at 25 because that's the lowest you could get in the game. And my boy had like a 33 point rating as a shooting guard. He couldn't defend, he was short, it was bad. So the lowest we can get on any attribute is 60 today. And hopefully that prevents us from making a 60 overall player. But the first thing you gotta do is figure out what position he's gonna be. All right, our randomly generated player is going to be a center. And let's see what he'll look like. He looks like a center already. His name is going to be Francis Davison. Okay, I'm rocking with it. We're gonna make him a center slash power forward and we're gonna let the rest fall into place eventually. We're just gonna go down the list. Starting off with drive and layup, we're gonna hit the random num number generator and whatever we land on, we get drive and layup and so on and so forth to create the player. So let's get it underway. This is for his driving layup. He will be one of the best driving layup players in all of basketball. At the center position is not very important. Um, if you look at the centers in NBA 2K23, a lot of them don't have high driving layups. Like layups are like shot close for them. Next we got post fade. He's gonna have an amazing post fade. Now that is important. Post hook. Oh my God. I, I, you would think this is rigged. This man's about to be the greatest post player in basketball. Post control drops down to an 80. We'll take that. He's about to be a pure blue Finishing, paint, protector. I don't know. We got to see. Draw foul is going up. Okay, now we got to see if he's going to be able to hit his free throws. But that's after we figure out a shot close. You see that my minimum is 60. And we've got nothing but 80 plus. So his shot close is a 98. And the rest of his finishing ability is amazing. So no matter if he can shoot or not, they don't matter. Because we know he's going to be amazing in the paint. That's a dub. Next we got mid-range jump shot. It's going down to a 69. That's nice. We, we're going to have him as a rookie, and we're going to spin for his potential, so his potential might make him way better there. That, that's okay. Three-point shot. He's not a three-point shooter. That's that's fine. See, see, some of y'all grew up with this new era where every center is a jump shooter. No! This is a, a typical center, and he's going to bring back the normal centers that are elite, too. Free throw is extremely important with his draw foul that high. He is one of the best free throw shooters in all of basketball. So we did his passing and uh, playmaking stuff. 75 ball handle, 83 IQ, but the accuracy is not high. Hopefully the accuracy catches up with the IQ. Next we got offensive rebounding and then some more interior finishing stuff that is extremely important. Offensive rebounding is a 91. So bro is gonna be hitting the glass, getting the offensive rebound and going right back up for buckets. Okay, standing dunk. 93. It's like they know that we're a center. That he they made him that he can't shoot. He's not a great playmaker, but and to get to that paint. Okay, driving dunk is not as important as some of y'all are thinking. A 76 actually gets the job done a ton. Shot IQ. Is he just gonna be chucking shots? Yep. Dang. That's low-key important. We're about to have a center that is pure finishing that's gonna shoot like 30% from the field. That's how important this is. Pass vision is a 94. Whoa, so he can see it, but he can't make the pass yet, but it's gonna get there. Now we're moving on to these defensive attributes. We know he's a beast in the paint offensively, but can we get the same level of respect defensively? This defensive rebounder thing is extremely, extremely important. We already know he's a really good offensive rebounder. Can we get defensive rebound until we can't? 75, that puts him below average for his position, defensive rebounder. Interior defense, okay, okay. It's, this is becoming a very weird center. 92 block is amazing. And then lastly, we're doing the steal 69. Nice. So this is what his defensive numbers look like. The rebounding is bad for a center. We don't even know how tall he is yet. I ain't even spun the wheel. Spun the wheel? Spin the wheel? I haven't turned the wheel clockwise to figure out how tall he is. But defensively, he looks pretty good. Don't let him be on the perimeter. And don't he's not gonna get a lot of steals, but he's gonna get blocks, he's gonna offend the interior. Next, we got his athleticism. Lateral quickness of a 93. <laughs> he's not good enough perimeter, but he can move those feet. Speed is not good. I would rather his lateral quickness be low and his speed be high, but it's not up to me. Speed with ball. Sick. We've landed on 69 three different times. What the heck? So we landed on 60 for his hustle. I'm not really worried about that too much. These are his athletic um, attributes. 
crazy acceleration to get to 69 speed. His vertical's pretty good, which is making me happy because if we somehow get a 6'7 center, which is possible right now, at least we know he can jump high and he's extremely strong, which is a dub. Durability doesn't matter because there's no injuries in this video but we do want to go to his mental. And then lastly, we has this miscellaneous stuff, but the mental is important. You want to have a, a very smart player who also is thick skinned because the game of basketball is going to make you have a ton of critics. Pass perception, 69 for the fourth time in this video. Um, defensive consistency, beautiful. Oh my God, we built the defensive player of the year with the radio number generator. I help IQ defensively. Oof, never mind. He's not going to win defensive player of the year if he can't help as a center. And then offensive consistency is a 95. So that's really, really good. The next two are important as well. It's his intangibles and potential. Intangibles and potential. All right, here we go. Intangibles are going to be a 77. Okay. Potential is a 99. This man in four years is going to be the greatest center of basketball. You cannot make this up. Shout out to the random number generator for setting us up for a potential GOAT. So in the game of NBA 2K23, you can make somebody 7-7. Six, uh, seven, seven. I'm not doing it today's video. I put the highest on my thing is going to be a 74, which is 7 foot 4, because we actually have players in basketball 7 foot 4, and we have one coming in that might be legendary, and I put him as low as 6-7, so we'll see what height we end up getting. He is going to be a 7-4 beast. Wow. So here's our player. 7-4 beast from where again? I forget. Francis Davidson out of Tulane. Tulane produ produced the GOAT. Um, I'm going to personally make his tendencies cater to his play style because you I don't want a guy whose three-point rating is a 60 to go out there and just be chucking three. So give me a second. I'll get that right. Moment of truth. I'm going to hit these keep changes and, and it's going to turn our player into whoever he is. He is a 88 overall diamond paint beast. That is my literal build that I play with in program. It's a diamond paint beast. So what we're going to do, instead of putting him in a draft class, I'm, I'm past that. I'm going to put him on a random team in this. But we're going to do fantasy draft. We're going to see where he gets drafted. The draft is here. And I'm questioning whether or not I actually loaded in, <laughs> in the right roster. So, oh, he went 11th overall to the Milwaukee Bucks. There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I got to get to my pick. The league determined he was not the 11th best player in the league, but the 11th most valuable player because they're thinking about growth. It's Francis, and then it's Chris Middleton and Ben Simmons. Oh, my God, defensively. Hey, defensively, we're going to be nice, and we also got a young team. Jalen Suggs, Alper. I mean, you're going to be a perennial backup, my boy, because if you're not taking the spot from Davidson. But, okay, the team's not good. Somehow, second Nabuya, who's out of the league in real life, always gets picked up in these fantasy drafts. And he always determines to have $30 million. All right, so I don't know what this league is or this team's going to look like. It's probably not going to be very good. I don't want to do any of the trades for you. Y'all decide on those trades. First game of the season, first game of his NBA career, Bradley Beal gave us 40. And four block. I legit think that he's going to win a defensive player of the year in these, I want to say, three years we've given him. He's going to win a defensive player of the year. There's no way around it. He's going to put up godly block numbers. And then next year, he's going to progress. He's going to have more badges. He's going to win a defensive player of the year. He's, oh, well, maybe not. I mean, he's averaging a block and a half a game and a steal. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, in these three years, they put together a contention-type team around him. But uh, that feels like it won't happen based on what I look, what that roster looked like right now. Let's go. Second time making the All-Star game, as a, and he's a rookie. I mean, you, you got to love the grind to make the All-Star game last season without actually being in the league. That's that that's that new uh, era of NBA player. And he's him. Made an All-Star game. 20 and a half points per 11 rebounds, 5 assists, and about 2 blocks. So he's really that guy. Not only did he make it, he's a starter. He's playing with some of the best in, in ball. He made the starter list over Joel Embiid, man. Because they're both in it. Oh, actually, I can't tell you. Joel's not East. My fault. My fault. I, I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. I thought I was thinking about current Joel and B instead of whatever. Rudy Gobert is in the East, and he's coming off the bench, so he'd ha he's having a better season than Rudy. Vucevic making it. Oh, it's because he went back to Orlando. You know Orlando got this little fountain that Vucevic used to drink out of, and it gave him basically superpowers while he was there. And then when he got traded to Chicago, he lost all of it. Um, Bam out of box. I can't say that. I think I'm meeting Vucevic today. Like, later today. Love you, Vuce. <laughs> Bam out of bio still plays for the Heat. So these are some really good centers that are in this in, the, um, in this conference. And Francis was like, nope, I'm, I'm going to be him. 
So let's just see how you perform then in your first, I mean, I'm sorry, your second All-Star game. 10, four, and three. Uh, he's a center. He's a center. He's a center. He's a center. And not even like one of the cool centers. You, he's basically a boring all-star player. Basically what Rudy Gobert was. Rudy Gobert's made the all-star game a couple different times. He's a defensive player. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so he probably wasn't the most fun player to watch at the all-star festivities. But the Bucks aren't very good. So we're probably not going to see no postseason action. James Harden is back. He averages 33 and 12 and 6. Whoa. 46% from three is crazy, James. Keep doing your thing. Two-time NBA All-Star Francis Davidson ends up winning Rookie of the Year. Uh, no defensive player here. Rudy, look out. He averaged about three blocks per, two and a half blocks per for Francis. I bet it's because the team defense wasn't very good. Just, oh, just, just you wait. Just, you did not make an All-NBA team either. Just you wait. He didn't make an All-Defensive team. Okay, I'm overrating his defense. That's basically what's happening. Y'all better, oh, don't be, oh, we made the play-in. A sub-500 team, 38 wins made the play-in. Okay. All right, um, so let's see how this goes. We're going against the Washington Wizards. We'll take this game. Jalen Brown, dang, this seems... Uh, I understand what they're in the plan. I understand what they're in the plan. Uh, we got, like, no spacing. It's Ben Simmons, Jalen Suggs, who couldn't shoot his rookie season, John Isaac, and Francis, who has a 0-3, basically. We made eight threes a game. We were the... <laughs> we And we attempted the second least. Like, yeah, we just don't have shooting. We had the worst percentage... And second worst total makes. It's not our game, man. It's not our game. And we win it. Oh, we, oh, we lost. Oh, that means we lost. So we got to defend it. Oh, we won it. Okay, so we made a playoff appearance with 38 wins. And in the first round, we're going against the one-seeded LeBron, who's in Indy. So he's back in the Midwest. And he's got Drew Holiday on his team. And Clint Capella, that's a really good defensive team, man. LeBron's probably getting the most out of those dudes. And they probably are going to sweep us, right? They're significantly better. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, it's rookie rookie season for Francis. I mean, he showed you in that second playing game that he's him. He just needs a little bit more help around him and another year of progression. That's the way I'm looking at it. The Warriors and the Raptors get a rematch from 2019. And the Warriors win this time around in seven. Of course, different cast. And it was a one-point game in game seven. All NBA fans love that game. Unless, I mean, I guess if you're a Raptors fan, you probably didn't enjoy it. Okay, we're just going to go. To player progression. I don't control this team. So you can use the draft pick trade to players, whatever. I need to see how good Francis gets. Oh, and we lost Chris Middleton. We used that money to bring in Mike Conley and, and Kyle Kuzma. Uh, yikes. On the good side, uh, Francis looks pretty good. I mean, he's getting bad. He jumps up five. He went from six badges to 28 badges. Remember, he has a 99 potential. So we should be seeing that type of growth. For a good, good amount of seasons. I mean, we're only doing three. But, like, for the next couple seasons, we should be seeing that growth. And now with him being a 93, that has to have him as the third best big in basketball behind Joel and, and Jokic. Yep. So, there he is. I mean, he's a monster. And he can start hitting mid-range jump shots a little bit. Okay. All right. What's, what, what center do you know that's shooting 99% from the free throw line? 99%? He missed three the entire season with almost attempting 300. He shot 99%. That's crazy. I asked for what center. Forget center. What player do you know that's doing that? I'm also adjusting the rotation. Ben Simmons is going to start. We got, we got John Isaac coming off the bench too. What the? Who is building this team, bro? Who built this team? You're doing a terrible, terrible job. All right. Well, the Milwaukee Bucks surprises the world, man. They surprised the world. I was praying for a defensive player of the year. We still ain't got it. Vuce is now a six-man back where it started. Right? He started in Philly. That was his first stop. And then a part of the Drew Holiday. How did he end up? I got to Google it. Because when, when I start to talk to myself like this, I, I... Just give me a second. The Dwight Howard trade! That's what it was! The Dwight Howard trade, of course. And he ended up in Orlando. Anthony Davis win the defensive player of the year. I mean, if you asked me 10 years ago, would Anthony Davis have a defensive player of the year by now? I would say for sure. He would at least have three. He ain't got none in real life. What the heck, AD? All NBA teams... Third, at the ba it's so hard to beat Jokic and Joel Embiid at the game of basketball. Believe it or not, even if you have an auto-generated player who's a stud, um, who averaged 20, 24, 11, 6, and almost three blocks, man. That offensive player is not too crazy, um, but I'm telling you, they surprised the world because they're the one seed. They won 58 games, and though I still don't think them boys can shoot, they figured out a way to win. They made nine total threes, which is the worst in basketball, attempted the lowest, and had the lowest percentage. Them boys did not shoot, shoot the three, but hey, we got to the free throw line a lot because that man Davidson does that. 
He had, he attempted 300 free throws last season in 82 games, and we rebound well because he's basically got a 99 offensive rebound. We don't give up offensive rebounds. We we pass the ball well. Overall rebound, like we're we're that the team. We get steals, we get blocks, we force turnovers, and we don't foul. Second chance points are third in the league, which makes sense. He has a 99 uh, offensive rebound. Points in the paint. Uh, I've never really looked at all of these stats before. I just this is the first time I'm doing it really, and they go deep, bro. My oh the pace, oh. I'm gonna do a video where I create the slowest pace team in modern basketball. Write it down. Write it down. Will you watch it? Probably not because it's such a weird video, but I want to do it for myself, so I will. Uh, let's see how this goes. Going against the Miami Heat in the first round. Hopefully, we get a game that we can watch our boy Francis try to do a stick. He is a massive human being. We're going against Tyrese Maxey, Chris Middleton, who left us. Oh, yeah. It's go time, Chris. See, if you were to stay here, we probably wouldn't be the one seed because we used that money to get um, Kuz and to get Conley, and we sweep y'all. But, you know, we was a little hurt to see you leave, my boy. Next, we're going against Luka. Yeah, I actually, I, I want to simcast some of these games because I want to find one that's close. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. It is a two-point game in the favor of the Brooklyn Nets with about a minute and a half to go. He is on the court, and he has been guard. Hold on. Who is he being guarded by, and why does he? I mean, he is 7 foot. That's. Wait. Wait. Why does poor Zingas look six inches shorter than him? Are we serious? I mean, I know he's, his knees are bent a little bit, but still. Poor Zingas is like the same height, or at least supposed to be, right? 6'3 versus 6'4? That's like 5'11 versus 6 feet. If you ask the girls of the world, I don't know. I, I haven't had to date somebody in a decade. I don't know what dating is like. There we go. Um, A block from Luka Doncic. But like, okay, now they're standing straight up. Hold on. Now they were just standing straight up. Now we can really see the difference in height. And it's not even noticeable. All right. I just overreacted to some guy because his knees was bent. That's fine. They built a really solid team around Luka. They got Porzingis back. And then they had a couple other people on the roster that I was like, oh, oh, Aaron Gordon is on the court right now. Colin Sexton can provide some scoring. Rebounding Davidson. He's just the greatest offensive rebounder in current basketball. And just like that, he ties the game up. You know, when you have that ability, the ball just finds you off of the basket. It's... What Dennis Rodman say? Because he shoot like this. And, oh, Luka Doncic is Luka Doncic. But, like, he shoot like... The Kobe fist? Oh, wow. Oh, Luka think he closing out this series soon. Okay. Okay, Luka. I, I can't be mad at you. Dennis Rodman said Larry Bird shoot like this and Magic shoot like that. And that's how you know the trajectory of the ball and stuff. It's real. It's real. And Davidson is living there. He wants the last dance just like we all did. Get him the ball. Get him the ball. Why is he sitting at the three-point line so... Jalen Suggs can miss a layup. All right. All right, Coach Bud. You need to draw something better up because that was despicable. That was despicable. He's being guarded by Luka, who's a, almost a full foot shorter than him, it looks like. Kyle Sexton, no good, but a rebound sucks. Okay, one minute to go in this game, down by two. 547 on the block. He's still being guarded by Luka. Good pass. Good pass. There you go, Suggs. There you go. I met Jalen Suggs last year before the NBA draft. I did an interview with him. And uh, we became cool, if you want to call it that, because we were talking about MLB The Show. And he said, bro, Amy, we should play against each other sometime. We never did. And I DM'd him when the new MLB The Show came out, and he, he, he seen it and didn't respond. Busy man, I understand. But I was thinking, man, I can make a good YouTube video of playing MLB The Show against Jalen Suggs. Maybe in the future. He definitely was grinding, though. He told me what his rank was and, and seasons, and I was like, man, you really played the game. Downhill, oh, that's the that's the downside. That's the downside of being 7 4. He was not quick enough, even though his lack quickness is really high. So I'm actually surprised that that happened that way. Jalen Suggs sucks in the game of 2K. In the game of 2K, his shot tendency is way too high for his ability. He's not him. He's not him in this game. He's like a 80 overall. And now we got a foul. This is terrible. And did we foul Luka? He could miss one of these. Luka can miss one of these for sure. He made them both. And I feel like that's all she wrote. Hey, listen. Okay, maybe not. Oh, my God. It's a back to a one-point game. I don't know what they did. I, ju I jumped the gun. A little and we got ball. Oh, snap. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. 16 seconds ago, we got ball down by one. Jalen Suggs is taking this shot. I'm 70% sure Jalen Suggs is about to do something stupid. He's going to dribble out the clock until it's three seconds left, and he's going to take a terrible shot. Mark my words. That's what 2K AI is. Just get it to f look. What did I say? What did I say? This game, this, 
The AI in this game is really, really bad. It makes me not even want to jump into games because, come on, bro. We're not going to run no set, no screens, no nothing, and give it to our fourth highest overall starter to shoot it? He shot five for 22. Get him off of the roster. He shot five of... He attempted the most shots in a game that Luka played. Think about that. Jalen Suggs attempted the most shots in the same game that Luka Doncic was a part of. And and he, he had way less points. We're down 2-0 in this series. 3-2. And game 7, we lost. I ain't even mad at it. I ain't even mad at it. I bet Jalen Suggs took a lot of shots, though. 4 for four, 12 over 5 turnovers. Man, get him off the roster, bro. Luka versus Lonzo in the finals. Uh, the Warriors are back. And... Luca wins it. Shout out to him. He's a he's a stud. At least we lost to the eventual champions. So you can't be too too mad. This is the last year. We're gonna see some player progression, and hopefully this is the team that could do it. Now, last year the fact that we were the one seed was a surprise. So if we get any improvements, I feel good. He left the team. Oh whoa! He went to the Spurs. Who do the Spurs have? The Spurs have. Oh man, we was just there, bro. He went to go get a bag with the Spurs, man. And they not going to make the playoffs in this third season. The team's starting point guard is DeLon Wright. And their starting power forward is Elliot Babcock. Second round rookie out of Louisiana. New Orleans, Louisiana. I, I don't really have anything to say. I'm, I'm going to just give him a bunch of minutes so we can have a, a cool stat line. And then we going to get out of here because he decided... To, to basically go to another part of a rebuild. But guess what? He's too good for them to get a high pick. He's too good. He has to, He's shooting 15 free throws per game. Like, he's too good. And he continues to get better. Look at the stat line. 36, 23, and 12 with three steals and three blocks. Oh, actually, that second round rookie looked kind of nice through the first two games. 50% from the field, 50% from three, 16 and a half. So they're not going to be good enough or weak enough to get a first round pick. They, I mean, first overall pick. They might make the play. Uh, I guess we'll see. We never got the MVP. We never got the defensive player of the year. I mean, Alperin Sengun became a starter and one most improved player. The team didn't make the playoffs, but he is on second team for the first time in his career and he's a 97 overall player. So you can make the argument that he'll eventually get to the MVP status. And he hit a three or two or 27. Uh-oh, he's becoming more him. He did make out a defensive team. And they're the three C. So actually, they were way better than I even anticipated. So there we go. I just don't feel... Look at their roster. Look at their roster compared to this team. 183 outside of our guard, guy Francis. I mean, that just lets you know how good he is. That he carried this week old team to be the three C. But I mean, when you get down to the nitty gritty, get to the seven game series... Oh, they win. Okay, they were down 2-0. I thought it was over with. Jimmy Butler and Lonzo Ball. This Warriors team has won two championships. They're the seventh seed, trying to come in from the play-in and win a championship this time around. I don't know if it's happening, but maybe it is. It might be. It's not because we're going game seven. And, I mean, if it's going to be a game seven in the last year, I I'm not doing y'all justice if I don't at least simcast it to see if we're going to end up winning in close fashion. So far, it is close. Not, not in our favor, though. Yep, that's the end of that. Hmm. He did his part. That's all I can really ask. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And tune in tomorrow for a new video. I'll see you then. Peace.